So, you want to transfer your NPCs, monsters, items, journals, spells, scenes, and more between any of your game worlds on Foundry VTT? Well, with Foundry V11, it's now easier than ever. Here's a quick tutorial on how to create your own shared compendium module in Foundry V11 in just a few clicks. Let's get into it. Once you've installed V11, something you should only do after you've made a backup of your data, of course, you'll be greeted with the brand new setup screen. At the top, you have three tabs to view your game worlds, game systems, and add-on modules. To share your content between your game worlds, we're going to create our own module from within the Foundry interface. So, first things first, click on the Add-on Modules tab. This is where you can install and manage your modules. But what we're interested in is this icon right here, the brand new Create Module button. Let's give that a click. Foundry provides us with a simple interface to create our own module. Let's quickly fill out what we need to create ours. The package title will be the name of the module itself, so pick something memorable. I'll choose a Lost in Shared Compendia. The package identifier will be filled out for you according to the title you gave it. You can override this if you want, but you don't have to. The package version can be left alone, and the package URL is not important unless you plan on sharing this module with others, which you can only do if you have distribution rights to the content you're including within it. The package description is optional, but you can describe your module here if you want. Under Compatibility, you have a few options to define which versions of Foundry VTT your module will work with. The minimum version should be V11, as that's what we're currently creating it in. The verified version should match, as we already know the module will work in V11. The maximum version can be left blank, as this module should continue to work in future versions of the software. The next tab is the Authors tab. This isn't super important if you're only sharing content with yourself, but you can always throw your name in there for fun. What we're really interested in is the next tab, the Compendium Packs tab. Here, we have the option of adding as many compendiums as we want. Let's add a Compendium Pack. The Label field will be what the compendium is titled in your compendium sidebar when you're in-game. So for this first pack, let's make it a pack for sharing my custom monsters. I'll title it Monsters. The Name field fills out automatically, and you can just leave it as is. The document type defines what type of data will go into the compendium pack. Since monsters are actors, we'll set this pack type to the actor type. Next, we have required system. As you can see by the description here, this is mandatory for actor, item, and adventure type compendium packs, because that data is intrinsic to the game system and won't work on other game systems. So for our actor pack here, we'll define the game system as D&D 5e. And lastly, we have a checkbox to define if this compendium pack is visible to everyone or only to the GM. Check this at your own discretion. And that's pretty much it. You can add as many packs as you want. I'll add another pack for sharing my custom items, such as class features and weapons. You could separate these into two different packs, but I'm going to leave them as one pack so I can show off another cool V11 feature in a minute. Once you've created as many packs as you want, you're pretty much done. You could pop over into the Relationships tab to define other modules or game systems as dependencies or recommended to install, but most likely you could skip this part. Once you're done, just hit Create Module. It's that simple. Now, let's start adding stuff to our new compendiums. Let's hop into our test world here. Once we're in, we'll go to our Settings, Manage Modules, and enable our new module. Once enabled, you can see our newly created packs over in the Compendiums tab. They're properly labeled with the name of our module as their source, and they have a different icon to differentiate them. To edit them, we can right-click and toggle off the edit lock. Then, left-click to open them up. I'm going to go ahead and add my custom monster into my Monsters pack here by going to my Actors tab and then simply dragging the monster into the Compendium. Perfect. Then I'll close that and open up my Items Compendium. Then, I'll throw in my custom class features I made for the Circle of the Shepherd Druid subclass, as well as this homebrew dagger I created. Now, the class features and the weapon are both categorized as items, so they're both allowed in this pack. But I want to keep them separate so things are more organized. Thankfully, in V11, this is simpler than ever. In the Compendium pack, 
I can simply create a new folder within the compendium. Let's create one called Weapons, and let's create one called Subclass Features. Then, all I have to do is drag things where I want them to go. And voila, nice and organized. Now, if we want to access this content on another world, it's really simple. All we have to do is launch our other game world, enable the same shared compendium module, and there you have it. All your packs are visible in this game world, and you can import all of the content you included within them. And that's all it takes to set up a shared compendium module in Foundry V11. Remember, Foundry V11 is stable, but it is new as of the publishing of this video. Make sure that you back up your data before updating. It's always the safest thing to do. And until next time, take care.